Hi guys, so I've got a bit of a haul for you today. Um, first things first, I got this stamp as my free gift from um, Grit and Craft. I have to think of the word then. It's quite a huge stamp. It's as big as my hand. I'll pop it on the back of there, you can sort of see it. The sentiments are... Sharing is caring. Stand tall. You are fabulous. Go and have a great day and thank you is all I want to say. So yeah, that's what it looks like. It's beautiful. They look gorgeous on a round card. Absolutely stunning. Well, that was two ninety nine postage and packaging and that was it. For a photopolymer stamp, that's really good money. Um, so there was that. Then I had my cre cre Creative Craft Academy package through. My monthly kit. And this month we got quite a big kit actually. I was quite surprised. We got these snip arts. So there's this like mandala wheel. We got these snip arts. So they're like these damask lines or strips rather. Then we got this stencil, which I thought would go really nice, nicely in an Alice in Wonderland journal of some sort as well. And then what's inside the box? Well, it came with the box as well, obviously. That's what we'll be decorating. And inside here comes in two packages. So we've got our gel medium, we've got our gesso and another gesso. So that was in that one. We've also got some mica powders in gold and in pearlescent in these test tubes. And what looks like a purple mica, mica powder in the bottom of this spray bottle, so we will probably make our own spray. Then what was really exciting were all of these charms that came. And there are loads of them. Something that was the best year. The kit is huge this month, and it's really shocking. There's this beautiful face. Which I absolutely love. There's loads of detail on there, although you won't be able to catch it, I think. With butterflies and leaves and all sorts on there. Absolutely gorgeous. This is that. There's this pink, shimmery, shiny, filigree piece. We've got a beautiful flower. Another beautiful flower. This is steampunk piece. Another couple of steampunk pieces. Got a steampunk type clock, not clock, um key. Sorry, couldn't see that very well, could you? There we are. Oops, a daisy. We've got this round piece. We've got these round pieces. Quite a few of these round pieces. They look like the Deathly Hallows if they had if they had a, a stick going through the middle, but I don't suppose that even crossed their mind. And there's a heart. Yeah, quite beautiful. We've got three of these roses. We've got one of these. And some more of those Deathly Hallows ones. 
we got two angel wings. So, I mean, there are loads and loads of charms this week, guys. I was really, really pleasantly surprised. We've got this one with the flower of life in the centre. This round one. A few of these frames. Like that. Four foliage pieces. And two little squares. So that's that. Yeah, that's the kit. I can't wait to get into the video. It teaches me how to make it. And once I've watched the video a couple of times, what I'll do is I'll come on live and make this live. How about that for them eggs? So I shall sit down tomorrow and watch the video a couple of times and then tomorrow night I shall come on live and make that. So the next thing I did was I went to the charity shop. I picked up quite a few bits from there. First things first, there were these flowers, and they just wanted 99p for them. I thought they were really pretty, nice neutral colours, the way I like it. Then there was these accent um, micro beads, which I haven't got in this colour, and they only wanted 99p for them again. So, and we've got these handmade tags. Which I thought with the heart themes on them and everything would be ni really nice for um, Valentine's. Then there was this pack, paper pack of all these different embossed papers. All the way along here. And then all this side is different but embossed papers again. And that was 99p. And then in here, I don't even know what's in here. We shall see together. So what have we in here? Right. We've got some handmade paper, some more handmade paper, and we've got this handmade card, and you can tell it's handmade from the texture of it, it's in red. This script, script handmade paper in like a khaki green colour. And then this one in like a garden green colour. There's more of it there. Small piece of pattern paper in there. There's a small piece of handmade paper in there. I think what used to be die cuts, they're all gone, so they must go in the bin. And there are all these die cut frames. 
Like I said, I think somebody's used them all, so. There's that. We've got these, which look like words. All oh, right, this is sticky back plastic paper. And somebody's been cutting words out of it. Can't read what the word says. But I'll be able to use the scraps anyway. Piece of chipboard always comes in handy. Some more script paper. Some more script paper. If you don't journal in. A little bit of shimmery shiny paper. And then a packet of beads. Small piece of lace. And all these lovely yellow flowers. So for 99p, I'm not complaining, that was all right. And all that red paper will come in handy for, you guessed it, Valentine's. So with that. I just get rid of these a second. I can share with you another bag of stuff. Then I picked up these two huge bags of old broken jewellery for two pounds. And that's all it cost me, two pounds. And there is loads in there of all different types of stuff. I mean, there's just loads. I'm not going to get it all out because we'll be here forever. But as you can see, it's jam-packed full of all sparklies. Full of all sparklies in there. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into there and seeing what I've got. There was those two bags and they were two pounds. And then I went to another charity shop in Hereford. I got some Robin um, napkins just to cut out the Robin and use him. I think it's absolutely beautiful. This is a big bag of stuff that was all tied together. So there was a big bag of balloons in there. There were all these different beads. So there's this bag of beads here. And we've got these beads. And these beads. And these more white marbly beads. And these um like more amethysty coloured beads. Excuse my nose guys, I'm still a bit sniffly. Oh, an awful lot better than I was. So in here there's more beads, square ones, round ones, heart shaped ones in there. You can see those. More beads in here. There's some ordinary round beads in there. Beautiful like Chinesey colours in there. And then we've got the gold and the blues and the silvers. And then there's some randomness. And we've got pearls and some more randomness in that one. 
next was all these pom-poms. For decorating. I have no idea how these even work. But I know a friend who loves to decorate other people for other people's baby showers and things. She will appreciate these no end. They come in all sorts of colours. And then with these glitter pots. So I've got them in the green and the silver. Two in the red and one in the gold. Glitter shaker pots always come in handy. There's a nice big bag of ribbon. Look at the product on there. Absolutely huge bag of ribbon. And there's white, there's red, there's pink grow grain. There's this really sick green, lovely satin green colour. There's yellow, there's white, and there's this beautiful deep red. And there's green. So yeah, it's a bag full of ribbon. A wonderful bargain. And for two pounds for this whole bag, I was really impressed. Now in here are loads of what seems like to be like charms. Firstly there's this flower which is absolutely stunning. And in here we've got two black flowers. Let's take one out. Oh, so you can actually see it. Very delicate black ones. And if you see the sparkle in the centre there, absolutely gorgeous. And what else have we got in here? We've got Father Christmas charm heads. So will go away in my Christmas box. I haven't put my Christmas box away yet, which is good. So there's Father Christmas charm heads. There must be about ten in there as well. And there are these melons, so watermelons, embellishments. There are these stick pins, so they'll come in handy for my jewellery making. There's a little tiny snowman there, you'll go in with my Christmas stuff. And we've got purple roses. We've got some wooden beads. And in here we've got a tiny little lady. This is this tiny little lady. Cute, really cute. And in here, there are two weenie dogs. Well, it's like a weenie dog pair of earrings, but I'll turn them into charms. And they're just little weenie dogs. Look, how cute is that? He. So yeah, that was full of charms and whatnot. Then we've got these, well, I've already been using one. These are sequin pickers, pick uppers. Because they're made of wax. They pick up sequins really, really well. And there was... Six of them in the packet. And I've already been using them this morning. And there was this Pandora bag. This is in the same bag now. 
and it's full of things like grippy balls any flowers these type flowers a bag of little snowmen Some more um, pins for um, jewelry making. Another one of those beautiful flowers. Empty bag. We've got some white sequins. We've got some blue sequins. A purple flower. Another green flower. We've got blue sequins and pink sequins. Some more of those green roses. And we've got some little tiny purple roses. Cabbage on there with Marilyn Monroe in it. I'll go straight into my um, charms drawer. Let's do with that. We've got another rose. Made of metal. Be great for mixed media. Plenty more of these beads made of wooden wood and glass in there. Then we've got plenty of jump rings. Some more flowers. It just goes on and on and on. And there are some more purple sequins, some more flowers. These buttons. And then the bottom of this bag is just filled with um, pins and jump rings. So I'm going to have to go through that. In this bag, we've got a tub full of all different types of beads. Some chains and little charms. We've got a little horse charm there. So yeah, full of charms in that one. Oh look, a troll. <laughs> I haven't seen one of those in years. <coughs> <coughs> Another huge bag of beads with um, what looks like a big pink heart in there and some flowers. And there's a bag of charms here. So look what we've got. Little dogs, plenty of little dogs, lots of little dogs, all different types of dogs. Wow, so it's literally just a handful of all different types of dogs. There's weenie dogs and Datsuns and dog person, it says on there. So, yeah, amazing! Oh, fabulous. It's going to do great for my dog lovers. i just pop those in there. And we've got more sequins and more sequins. So that was everything out of that bag.
And then there's more. There were these sequin pictures. What you do is peel off the this stuff and then every one of those dots on there is sticky to stick a sequin onto. So you've got the puppy dog. You've got pussy cat. And these will be great for kids' bedrooms. We've got a unicorn. Another cat. And more pom-poms. <laughs> and then just plenty more packets of sequins in a pink. So that was my haul for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. It's a colossal haul of from the... Um, oh, yeah, and I forgot this. I bought this from a local craft store, Craft Sensations, and it's designed shabby texture. And it's just... Yeah, you get four of each design. There's that one. And there's that one. So that was it. That's definitely it. So I hope you like the video if you like it, guys. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you again next time, which will be live tomorrow night with the Creative Craft Academy. Me trying to cover that box. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye now.